All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over the five books that I read in the month of June. I'll pick out my book of the month and talk about some of the books I'm thinking about reading in the month of July. Now out of these five books, I have full video reviews of four of those, and I will post those down in the description of this video. So the first book I finished was The Kinsman Saga by Ben Bova. And this is actually a collection of two novels that Bova put together into this one kind of omnibus. And you can go and watch that video review of this one if you'd like. I really enjoyed the second half of this book, which was a novel called Millennium. And Bova actually wrote that first and then went back and, and wrote the backstory of the main character in this whole saga, whose name is Chet Kinsman. Now, this is kind of a sort of hard science fiction mixed with some political and military thriller genre styles, I guess you, you would say. It's, it's just a little different than what I would normally read. I probably wouldn't have maybe picked this one out as uh, my first Bova read, but it was on this list that I'm doing. I'm reading through these masterpieces of science fiction. One thing I forgot to mention in the video review was Chet Kinsman, the main character in this uh, novel, he was also famous for being the first person to join the Zero G Club. So just an interesting tidbit about that. Next up, I read The Best of John W. Campbell, and this is a collection of short stories and most people know John W. Campbell. He's credited for kind of setting off and editing through the golden age of science fiction. And he also wrote sh um, a few novels and a bunch of short stories. And his ideas are really good, but if, I feel like his execution as a storyteller kind of just left me a little bit lacking. And that's my opinion. I think he's most known as an editor and not so much as a writer. But the one of the last stories in here, it's more of a novella. It's called Who Goes There? And it's the basis for a couple films that have been made called The Thing. And when I got to that novella, it was almost like someone else had written it because it was interesting, suspenseful. Uh, had horror elements to it. It was captivating and I absolutely loved it. I would give that novella on its own five stars, but as a whole, this collection was probably about a three star read for me. Next up was Where Late the Sweet Bird Sang by Kate Wilhelm. And this was just a wonderfully well written book. It's more of a literary work of fiction that has some science fiction elements in it. It's a dystopian novel, and it has a lot to do with cloning, human cloning, that is. It's, it, it was a fantastic book, and I'm really glad I read that one. Then the next book I finished was Transfigurations by Michael Bishop. This was a very, very interesting book. It's, my, my video review of it lasted, I think, like 16 minutes or, or something. It was, it was, it's a hard one to talk about. It's it's very fascinating. And this was a book that Bishop, he, he had originally wrote a novella and, and then that concept was expanded. Basically, he tacked on the, the continuation of the story. And so the first 80 pages of this book is the novella that he wrote. And I love the novella. I would give that novella on its own five stars. But the whole story and novel combined, um, I, I would give it a four star. And then the final book I read was Final Blackout by L. Ron Hubbard. This one was probably one of my least favorite books in this series that I'm doing, this Masterpieces of Science Fiction list. And it was just kind of dull and not so engaging. It was very one-dimensional. There, there was a lot of flaws, but there was some really good ideas that Hubbard threw out in this. And when you put it into the context that he wrote this in 1939, before World War II had really taken off, then I give him some more credit on it. And he had some really interesting ideas of what a decade-long war would do to Europe. And so 
it, that part was was pretty interesting, but it's a hard book to recommend to people just because of the writing style and how kind of dull and bland it was for me anyways. So now up to my book of the month, I'm going to have to give to Transfigurations by Michael Bishop. Now, I mentioned in my video review of this, if you haven't read anything from Bishop, which I don't hear a lot of people talking about him, I probably wouldn't recommend starting with this one. I think No Enemy But Time is a better one to start with, and I've only read those two novels from him so far. So maybe there's another place to start, but he is just a fantastic writer, and he can really develop some themes, and uh, he, yeah, so I, I want to read more books from Bishop in the future, and he's, he's one of these authors that I think eventually I'd like to read everything he's ever written. So right now I'm reading Fury by Henry Kuttner. I'm about halfway through this one, really enjoying it. And that'll probably be my next video that I come out with here shortly. And then on to what I'm thinking about reading. I've got three... So Fury is on this, this series that I'm doing, The Masterpieces of Science Fiction. And three others that I'm kicking around the, uh, reading this month. The Embedding by Ian Watson. On Wings of Song by Thomas M. Dish. And The Moon Pool by Abraham Merritt. So those, I'll have to see when I want to kind of break into those. And I might change my mind, but those are kind of some ideas that I'm kicking around. And then I have a few books that aren't part of this series that I'm doing, but I still really want to read. One I definitely want to read is We All Died at Breakaway Station by Richard C. Meredith. This one sounds really interesting. And then... Uh, of a follower of this channel, Seth, has recommended this one a few times, and I definitely want to read this this month as well. It's the Hopkins Manuscript by R.C. Sheriff, so definitely going to read that this month. And then I kind of keep kicking this one down the curb each month, Star Maker by Olaf Stapleton. It's just a unique novel slash... I don't even know what you want to call it. I, I kind of... Keep, I'll read the beginning of it and then kind of say I'm not in the mood for this one, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be in the mood this month, but those are some ideas I've, I've got kicking around. Let me know what you're going to be reading in the month of July. If you want to read any of these, um, you know, mention it down in the comments and it could definitely make me prioritize some if, if some others want to take part and read along on some of these, so... That's where we're at there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.